John Blackmore here, super easy guitar. Boom, 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 boom. And shoot you down. Boom, boom, boom by John Lee Hooker. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So there's lots of different versions of John Lee Hooker's Boom Boom out there. Um, I've looked at like old footage. I've kind of known this riff for a long, long time since I was really young. John Lee Hooker was one of my main influences when I was growing up. Certainly introduced me to playing in drop D and stuff like that, okay? So I've kind of known these, these kind of little blues riffs for a long time. Every time he plays it, he plays it slightly differently. So I'm going to show you a few little techniques that he uses. They're rough techniques because mostly it's played on electric and he does different bends on the electric. Obviously, this is acoustic, but I'm going to keep it as simple as possible for you, okay? So I'm going to break down the little licks. And then I'll show you the, the kind of chord bit that goes afterwards, all right, later on. So... Let's have a look at these little riffs. So the first one, I mean, these aren't in any particular order. I recommend you go away and listen to a few different tracks and see what he's doing, but this is a starting point, okay? So, so there's our first little one. So what I'm doing, I'm using my second finger in the third fret on the third string, which is the G string, and I'm, I'm plucking and sliding it to the fourth fret. So if I then put my first finger with it on the second fret on the second string, you kind of get this cool tone. So now I'm hitting the G and B, the third and second string. And it doesn't matter what I'm doing, I'm going down and then plucking up, and it doesn't matter if you hit the top string or not, because it's all in key. So once I've done that, pluck, slide, pluck up. Yeah, I kept on hitting the B string there. So the problem is when I do these things slow, I always mess them up, so bear with me. Then what I'm doing, that fourth fret, I'm hitting the G string, and then pluck in and slide in back down to the second. Okay. And at the end, I'm going to pull off to open. Okay, super slow. Then I'm going to hit with my first finger the second fret on the D string or the fourth string slowly now I'm doing a pull off there so sorry that's what I mean about playing it slow well I'm full of excuses today huh so that's what we want going on there off, pull off, finish on two on the D string. So that's riff number one. And what he does at the end there. which is the third fret on the bottom E string. And I'm kind of, when I'm doing an upstroke, I'm pulling my fingers away. Kind of gives it that slack feel. Then I'm hitting A power chord. The A power chord, I should say. So I'm hitting the fifth string, the A string, and my first finger's on the D string in the second fret to get that A power chord. Super slow. Then 
and I finish it down with an E. You see, so when I'm kind of getting slack with it, it kind of gives it that loose blues feel, right? Okay. Um, I probably didn't even do that in the intro in the beginning. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about these extra little nuances. Okay, but that's, you know, more like what's going on the, on the record. Don't worry too much about doing the chord section at the end, okay? Just get the riffs first. Okay, so get that bit first. Then we've got this. So this one's a bit easier. So he plays with fingers, so he kind of does something like that, right? But we're playing with a pick. So I'm hitting the D string, okay, the fourth string at the second fret. Then I'm hitting the open G. You can hear my strings wearing out here. I need to change it. So second fret, open G. Then I go to the third fret on the G string and I pull back to the second. So it's like a little slide and a pull off. And then I go. Okay. Then the third little lick. Okay, so that's just a. I'm hitting that toppy and I'm shortening it. I don't always do it. You can let it ring out. Either or. So what I'm doing, I'm hitting that quick, I'm doing an upstroke. Then I've got my first finger on the third fret on the G string. I'm doing that pull back again and pull off. Okay. Actually, then it goes to the A. So that's going to be A. Then I'm playing this C. Again, I'm being really slack with it, getting those opens. Sorry, then I need to play like a little D. So it's a D power chord, but if you like, you can put the second finger in the third fret on the B string. And it allows a slightly bigger tone. Then I'm playing the A on the end. So A, third fret on the A string, which is C. hitting obviously my first fingers in the second fret on the G, second fingers third fret on the B, okay the third string and the second string and I'm playing the D, the G and the B. If you don't know your open string names guys you need to learn them, it's very important. E, B, G, D, A, E. It'll speed up your learning okay. So let me put all three riffs together. Something funny, for years I've always played this. But listening to the back, back to one of his records, he does this. Okay? So don't worry, you know, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a few little mistakes here. Then we go back to this second riff. Then we've got the turnaround, right? So we've got kind of back to the first riff. Then 
Now, there's two things we could do here. We could go... Or... It doesn't really matter which one you pluck, okay? So, that first riff... off on the D and then I'm hitting my first finger in the second fret on the A string, the fifth string. One more time, so this is the turnaround one. Okay, then I'm going to play this B Okay, I'm just kind of concentrating on the the A, the D, and the G. Okay, if you don't know that chord, first finger, first fret on the D string, second finger, second fret on the A string, third finger, second fret on the G, and really we should put the pinky on the top E, but you don't need it in this case, so I'm not playing the top E string. down up there then I'm going open D down up and I'm using my second finger to play that's actually E that note there the second fret on the D string so down up down up down pull off and finish in with that little chord again let me see if I can do that slow. Then straight away. Yeah, again, I'm messing up. Okay, so that last little lick, second finger and the second fret on the A string. Then open D, second fret on the D, then G G open, then go back to that second fret on the D string. Yeah, and sometimes when I hit the G, I hit the B as well, and it kind of sounds cool. And I'll go back to that E, G, A, E. Okay, and he's, you know, it's not exactly what happens on the record, but then you go into the verse, right? Boom, 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 boom. So what I'm playing there is an E7, G, like a G5 I guess I'm not bothering with high strings then an A7 then back to an E7 boom 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 shoot you right down so that's kind of the chords that are going on there let's go back to the riff and I'll play the whole thing through slowly <laughs> probably mess this up so Just work through each section really slowly. Now, something else I noticed when he was um, playing solo electric, he kind of holds down this E7. So 
So if you're playing by yourself, you can kind of, you know, when you're singing boom, 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 boom. It kind of does this thing, right? Except we're not able to do the bend on the third string on the acoustic guitar. So you have to kind of improvise with that. But he holds down this E7, then he puts his pinky on the D note on the second string, the B string. That's third fret. And he plays the B, then top E. Then he bends up on the sec on the third fret with his third finger, but that doesn't really work on the acoustic guitar. So I've kind of adapted it to play like that, right? So So a little bit like the beginning, just with different fingers. Okay, then just holding down this E7. That's what I should have done, really. So it's E7, add that G. Don't really want to hit the G string there. Otherwise, you get this dissonant chord. Yeah, you hear it, so you don't want to avoid that. Okay, that's what he does. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, hit that bell button if you want weekly updates, I do these lessons every single week. Please send me a message on Instagram or Facebook, let me know how you're getting on, I love to hear from you guys, keep the requests coming in, obviously I can't do them all but I'll do my very best. Enjoy your week guys, I'll see you again the same time next week.